Today on the tiny farm, we're making soup. <gasps> What's this? A delicious nine vegetable winter soup? Oh, no. no. We are going to be making autumn harvest soup. Let's so. get to it. Good afternoon from the tiny farm. This week we are welcoming fall and pretty much squashing summer. We're having a primarily squash based meal which consists of our autumn harvest soup. Butternut squash ravioli, which is a sage butter sauce. And a an acorn squash pie with a rosemary infused whipped cream. It's gonna be good. And the reason that we decided to go with all of this, something really important to us is, is part of our relationship really. Yeah. And that is the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings series. There are a lot of important dates around this time. <clears throat> And just recently, on September 22nd, was Bilbo Baggins and Frodo Baggins' birthdays. They have the same birthday. And if you don't know, Bilbo Baggins was the employer of Frodo Baggins' best friend, who to us represented the strongest character in the series. Yeah. And that's why we named our son Samwise. Yes, you. Yeah. And he is also our master tester he's checking everything out for us making sure it's good making sure it's tasty yeah. making sure it's fun that tasty he loves ravioli love it <laughs> lip smacking good we're gonna do a three-part video series showing you how to make each of these things mm -hmm. and we're going to start with the soup, head to the ravioli, and on dessert. Yep. Now coming up in the next two or three weeks, something else Hobbit related is Durin's Day. Yeah. Which is in the beginning of October? About the middle of October. Middle of October. And we'll be doing a special for that. It'll only be a, a single video. Yeah. This one we wanted to do more of a feast, and it's kind of an elf-based feast. That's why... Um, you may have noticed. Where's the meat? There's no meat. No. No, no. So anyway, we are going to let you go ahead and start watching the videos on how we prepared this. We're gonna eat. Stay, hit me. Here's what happened. For the first part of our meal, we're making a squash soup, which is made with summer squash, parsnips, onion, potato, and garlic, which have all been roasted and then cooled. And what we're gonna do, it's a really quick, really simple thing. If we take this, and put a pan, and then we scoop all of this out into the pan. And if you're not familiar with parsnips, uh, they're very similar to a carrot. They look just like a carrot, only they're white. But they're a lot more peppery. Yeah, they have more of a perfume. peppery taste to them. Am I doing it right, sir? We have the boss here watching us. Set 
said that. All right. There. Now to that, we have three and a half cups of stock, mm -hmm. chicken stock. And what we did is there's three cups here, half cup there. These three cups go in right now. And we're using unsalted. Correct. Unsalted chicken stock. Those three cups go in. And then you take a submergible, submers, nope. sub, submers, immersion. immersion blender. We have to get the spoon out because we don't want the blender hitting that. Take over. And we're using red onion, but yes. you can use white or whatever. Yeah, you can use whatever kind of onion you prefer. Woo! To the good onion. Good onion is a heavy onion. <laughs> okay, Once you get like a puree consistency. You're pretty much done with this part. And then what you need to do is you heat this up on the stove. And after about five minutes when it's warm, go ahead and add your chicken broth and a half a cup of buttermilk, which just gives it a creamier flavor and gives it a little bit more tang. 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 There you go, Bobbin. You are making soup. Glutton, glutton, crunchy friends in a liquid broth. All right, so while the soup is simmering, we're going to make... Croutons. Yeah, croutons. For the croutons, we're using a roasted garlic loaf. But you can use, like, sourdough or any other kind of... A lot of people use sourdough. I don't particularly care for it. You, you can make a very simple crouton out of just about any bread. One thing you want to do is remove the crust because the idea of the crouton in the soup is to soak up broth and get that flavor in and the crust because it's already been baked. Once you bake it again to get the crunchy crouton it gets to be that much. Yep. And you can even get like a plain crouton plain bread and then like flavor it with herbs, cheese. So this you know. is a basic crouton which is really nothing more than toasted bread. Just no squares. But what we're gonna do because we're doing our special little themed meal here, we're gonna take a couple slices like this and then because we're extra. We take our trusty cookie cutter. This would be really cute for kids too, like if you're making like a yeah. soup for your kids and you can like do fun little shapes with those stars and all that. So with these, what we end up having is a cute little leaf shaped crouton. But we're not just making some stale piece of bread. We're making fancy croutons for our fancy little meal. Normally, you would use olive oil for this next part. We have an anonymous supporter who gave us this, and this is actually white truffle oil. White truffle oil. So what we're gonna do is put a little bit on the plate it smells so good. Okay, maybe a little bit more than a little. And we take and the bread and you go. take them and lay them down on top of the oil. You don't want to drench them. Just have a nice coating on the outside so they'll all be toasty. And then you bring them back up onto your roasting pan. A little bit 
bit more. And you can also, if you're going to do just plain olive oil, or even with something like this, you can also add herbs or salt, pepper, seasonings. Or cheese. Like cheesy croutons. Yeah. And then you go one, two, three, and four. And then we just take these guys, throw them in there any way we want. Kind of jiggle them around on there. You can also do it in a bowl and do that fancy little toss thing. But yeah. And we just lay these ones out. The breeze. Oh, these get thrown in the oven. Until they're golden. So they're golden and kind of toasty. And the other thing that's great about this is you have all these bread scraps. Sopping bread. Yeah. Because you get to get you some truffle oil. Oh my god. With garlic and yeah. That's lovely. Mm. Yes. Alright. To finish out the soup, you can take some chives and just chop them up small. Add a little oniony flair to it and make it pretty. Makes it a little bit prettier because I am going to say right now before I even, like I've tasted it, it tastes okay, but it's not the prettiest soup I've ever seen. It's pretty one note. Plating is super, super simple. Or you could say bowling. Bowling. Putting the soup in the bowl. You just... It almost has a texture of like potato soup. Oatmeal. It's not as thick as oatmeal. Sir? Take chives. your chives, sprinkle them around the top. And your chives. And then you take... Remember those croutons we made? One of those beautiful croutons. And you set it right on top. There you go. Sorry. Big clunk. There we go. You made it to the end of the video. Glad to see you're here. If you like the video, please click the like button. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Share the video as much as you want. And please leave us a comment. Tell us what you want to see in upcoming videos. Tell us how much you enjoyed this video. Or just tell us you tried the recipe yourself and you loved it or you hated it. All your comments are appreciated and will be replied to. Yes. As always, from our family to your family, have a great week.